Shalom family. So this morning I spent some time, um, we went and we assisted a local church and did some painting for them to just spruce up the building and make it look nice. And while we were there doing this, um, a couple of things popped into my head while, while we sat there painting. The first is while I was painting, I saw an ant running along, a small little ant running along the wall and he came to the paint. And I watched him. So he comes to the paint, he sniffs it, he investigates the paint. And the minute he realized that this was an unnatural substance, he literally released the wall and kicked away, launched himself off the wall, down onto the floor and ran away. And it just immediately in my heart and in my soul showed me, you know what, this is how our reaction to sin should be in life. When you identify sin, when you see sin, when it rears its ugly head, when it comes to you appealingly or shiny or in any way that it does, when you encounter it, you should be like that ant. You should kick away and throw yourself completely in the opposite direction. That ant had no worry about its health or its safety as it fell down a good 30 centimeters to the floor and then fled in the opposite direction from this unnatural substance that should not be anywhere near its body. And that is how we should be. Because if you go to Ephesians 5 verse 25 to 27, it says, For husbands, this means love your wives, just as Christ loved the church. He gave up his life for her to make her holy and clean, Washed by the cleansing of God's word. He did this to present her to himself as a glorious church without a spot or wrinkle or any other blemish. Are your robes white? Are you washing them? Are you cleansing yourself? Are you seeking areas in your life that you still need to submit to Lord? Are you still getting rid of sins that you're choosing to hold on to? Are you looking carefully because as much as I cleaned after painting there's still spots and blemishes that I need to deal with later and I look for them and I see them and then I work at them to get rid of them because they shouldn't be there these are spots and blemishes that should not be part of me and the problem with sin is sin easily ensnares people have a pet sin it's not illegal according to the world it's not something bad it's not hurting anybody no one has to know and they're in a comfortable relationship with the sin be it big or small and so they continue and that sin leaves a mark and then another mark and then when you look again it's on your clothes as well I've got paint on my clothes today and it's frustrating because now you can't get it out of your garments now it's a crisis is the garment ruined and that is what we're talking about when we come to the point of without spot or blemish, cleanse, seeking purification, seeking to present ourselves to God clean and acceptable for that price that he paid for us in love. If we go to Hebrews 12 verse 1, it says, therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. And brothers and sisters, we are running. I am compelling you every day. Let us run. We're almost at the finish line. We can see it. We can almost hear that angel finally figuring out the trumpet. We can see the end of the line. Run with endurance. Lay aside the sin which so easily ensnares us by making itself seem acceptable not causing damage no one has to know this is the enemy trying to put spots and wrinkles and blemishes on you before you get to where you're going let us seek jesus christ and his acceptance let us live up to the sacrifice he made to save our souls so that is the message I want to leave with you. Be like that ant. Throw yourself away in the opposite direction. God bless you. Shalom.